Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is a 20 minute beginner's HIIT workout. So it's low impact, low intensity, we've got 20 different moves in 20 minutes and the aim is to do 30 seconds on each one followed by a 30 seconds rest. So essentially we're only exercising for 10 minutes and we're resting for 10 minutes. So bear that in mind and try your best to start the workout with me and finish it with me in 20 minutes time. Um, if any of the moves don't feel suitable, you don't feel like doing them, miss it out, have a little extra rest, or you can swap it for something different, like a marching on the spot, a star jump, a squat, whatever you fancy. Um, but we're gonna kick things off with marching on the spot, which is gonna be 30 seconds of high knees, lifting those knees up for 30 seconds, then we rest and go into our next move. So here we go, in four, three, two, one. Let's go, lifting those knees. So it's 20 moves, 20 minutes. If you wanna go into a jog, obviously you can go a bit quicker, but just for now, if you wanna start things off, and you're a beginner and you get back into fitness, just march it out, arms and knees. So knees come up, as the arms do as well. Good, try and lift it kind of nice and high, really march those knees up. Good, last few seconds, five seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, and rest. Right, that's our first move. Next one's gonna be a walkout. Now, a walkout is essentially gonna be walking onto our hands, and we're gonna walk our hands out like this, into a high plank, then you walk back and stand up. So it's a nice slow move. Walk your hands out into a high plank. So upper body strength here, and your abs are having to work, and you walk back and stand up. You ready for it? So hands on the ground, walk out into that high plank, walk back and reach up good. So nice and slow, just walking those hands out into a high plank. Don't let your back dip. Keep your abs engaged, squeeze your abs tight, and stand up. So we're really working into a plank. Like you're walking into a high plank, walk back, and reach up good. Last one, and rest, right. Next one we're gonna do is a sumo squat. So rather than be like in a narrow squat like this, your feet sort of parallel, Turn your feet out wide, so more like a sumo wrestler, sumo stance. Um, and the same thing, we're just gonna sit down nice and deep into the squat and stand up. If you can't get right down, just do like a sort of a shallower rep, yeah? As you get strength and your hips open up, you'll be able to get a bit lower. So go as deep as you can into your sumo squats. Feet turned out. That's good. Nice slow reps. Remember, trying to drive those heels into the ground. Knees out as well, don't let the knees buckle in, like keep the knees driven out. Create that space in your hips. Sitting down low. Good, we've got 10 seconds on the clock. So almost the slower you do these, the harder they become. So slow them right down. And stand up, good, last rep. And relax, perfect. Next I'm gonna do, basically standing position. We're just gonna lift our knees up, so so we'll bring it out to the side and stretch up each time. You can go faster, obviously, if you do it sort of a little bit quicker, sort of hopping on the bottom foot. But if it's a slower version, you just bring one knee up, knee up, knee up. You ready for it? Oh, I'm out of breath. Here we go, so one, knee up nice and high. So each move's different. It's gonna go really quick, 20 moves, 20 minutes, it's gonna be over before you know it. So put as much effort in, into each move as you can. Good, 15 seconds left. Knees up nice and high, stretch and pull. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, little stretch. We're now gonna do some front kicks. Now, you can do them slow like this. We're just gonna basically kick our leg out as you know, as high as you can in front. If you wanna speed it up, you can sort of jump into them a little bit quicker. So you can jump into them like this, front kicks, or just one at a time, front kick. Sort of bringing it up nice and high, kicking out in front. Here we go. So front kick, 30 seconds on this one again. That's it. So 
So nice high front kicks. Good. Remember, nice deep breath. Trying to hold your breath. Really think about getting lots of air in your lungs. Kick. And relax. Perfect. Right. That's five complete. So number six, we're going to do a lateral squat, which basically means we're going to start one side of the mat. We're going to sort of squat and step to the side. So we're taking our lateral step and we squat down. Again, get as deep as you can. If you can't go right down there, just do a, a sort of lower, sorry, a shallower squat. So don't go as low, yeah? So go for it. Here we go. So squat down, step across, squat down, step across. And with these knees, you're trying to drive them out. Don't let the knees buckle in. Drive them out, step, weight in the back of the heels. If you find that you're coming onto a tiptoe like this, you might have like poor mobility in your ankles or tight calves. If that's happening, step your feet wider. And that will allow you to kind of get a bit lower. Yeah, if you step your feet wider and turn them out, you'll get more depth in your squat and you won't have that sort of thing where you're coming up onto your tiptoes. Right. Next up, we're going to do some box push-ups. So this is number seven. Now what we're going to do is push-ups from the knees. Now obviously, it's hard to bring all your weight forwards, but try, try rather than just doing this, because this isn't really loading our chest and triceps, bring your weight forward, bend and push. Off we go. And again, if you can't get down to, to chest to floor, just do little half reps. Build up your strength. You can just drop a tiny bit. Still working the muscles. You're still getting strength, but you're obviously going to get stronger and you'll be able to get lower each time you come back and do this workout. And rest. Perfect. So yeah, push-ups are quite tough, you know, and even if you're fit, they always feel challenging, but you're going to build up that strength. Eventually you'll be getting chest to floor, then one day, one day you'll have your knees off the ground and you'll be doing full push-ups. I promise you, I've seen it so many times. Right, number eight, cardio punches. So we're gonna have our right leg back, or left leg back, depending on what feels more natural. So in that diagonal stance, we're gonna throw nice long punches. So you push away and you pull back. So really long arms, let's go. So eye level. Like nice straight punches, fast. Left, right, left, right. Good. 15 seconds. We're gonna go down on the floor now for a elbow plank after this. Right, let's go. Left, right, left, right. Long arms, big stretch. And relax, perfect. Right, recover. Next one we're gonna do is gonna be an elbow plank. So again, you can't do the full plank just yet. Which is obviously, full plank is elbows on the ground. Knees off and you're completely using your core to lift yourself up and so you're really working this. But that's quite tough for people, so if it is, knees down. Exactly the same thing. Back straight. Engage these muscles here and lift yourself up and hold. Good, so think about pulling your belly button up towards your spine. If you want to make it a bit tougher, just take the elbows away a little bit further. And really brace your core and lift up. Pull it up, good. 10 seconds. Hold it. And rest. So that's really good. You're still, even though your knees are on the ground, you should still be feeling this, these muscles working. So it's just like the level one of a plank. And then eventually you'll be up, you'll be knees up. Right, number 10. We've got reverse lunges, so we're going to start at the front of the mat, like this, and we're going to reverse, like, we're going to step back, so we alternate, left leg goes back, right leg goes back, and the aim is to drop the back knee almost towards the ground, so we're working, the, we're loading this front leg, but again, if you can't drop down at low, just get a little bend in the front leg, a little bend in the back leg, whatever feels right. Then eventually, obviously, you're going to drop right down 
really work those quads and those glutes. So nice big step backwards. And again, slow it down. You don't want this knee wobbling all over the shop. Keep it nice and strong, stabilize this leg. Stabilize this front leg. Last few seconds. All right, and rest. So good news, we've done 10 minutes, that's gone. 10 moves in the past, 10 moves to go. So we're gonna go on the ground now for number 11, which is slow motion mountain climbing. So in this high plank position, obviously if you've got the energy and you fancy it, you can go nice and fast. But a slow motion version is the same thing with just one leg at a time. So we go one, out. So this is really working your upper body, but also your abs. So it's knee in, out. In, out. So nice and slow. 10 seconds, knee to chest. Think about your abs. So yeah, you'll feel that in your shoulders, but that's really having, when you bring that knee right to the chest, you're activating your abs. So it's a great way to get your core strength up without having to do a crunching move. Next up, we're gonna do is a rope climb. So number 12, basically it's a run on the spot. So like a jog, and then a climb the rope. If that's too much, do the same thing, a bit slower, sort of marching as you go, yeah? So it's either jogging or marching with the hands up and put, imagine you're pulling a rope down. Let's go. So 30 seconds on this one. Getting the sweat on now, let's go, keep it up. Right, let's push, 20 seconds on the clock. So knees up. Go as quick as you can. Try and stretch up nice and high. Remember, if you need to slide down, you can do half and half. Whatever works for you, just get that heart rate up. The aim of HIIT training, is to basically like elevate your heart rate as high as you can in the working set. Then you recover, you catch your breath, you sort of let your heart rate drop and you go again. So it's a really good way of getting your cardio fitness up and burning lots of energy in a really short time. Right, okay, number 13. We're doing a glute bridge. We're gonna go down on our backs. So first off, we're gonna do the left, left leg. So basically right leg off the ground and we're gonna lift. So using our hamstrings and glutes, drive the hips off the ground, off we go. So you're really going to feel this in the back of the leg, in your glutes. And the aim is to try and drive your hips like, off the ground using that glute. Good, we're going to switch legs obviously after 30 seconds, so keep driving up. Lift. Oh, right, definitely feel that. So that's obviously what the left side, we're now gonna do the same thing. Um, left foot off the ground, hands by your side. And then we drive that hip off the ground using the right glute now. Really good exercise, this one. Here we go. Right, so lifting up. Okay, so we're trying to drive our hips as far away from the ground, so really activate that right glute. Push up. Brilliant, keep it going. Keep squeezing. Last few seconds. Ah. That's a very good exercise for your posterior chain. Right, number 15, squat holds. So we're gonna be working the quads now. So opposite side, we've just done the, obviously the posterior. We're now gonna be working the, the, the quads. The aim is to get down into a low squat position and hold. So hold that position for 30 seconds. Really gonna fire the quads up. Great way of building up your strength, here we go. Sit down and hold, this is number 15. Hold it, come on, let's go, stay down, 20 seconds. 
So drive the knees out, arms out in front, look straight ahead, and keep the weight in the heels. Right, really stay down now, stay strong, come and stay down lower. Hold that strength. Static, come on, five, four, three, two, one. Ouch. Good work. Right, next exercise, we're gonna do a tricep dip. So you need a chair, a step, a bench, a sofa, bed, whatever it may be. You're just gonna put your hands like this behind you. This is great for working the back of the arms. And then we're gonna drop down. So from there, we bend our elbows and straighten up. So we're thinking about keeping our back close to this surface. Don't come away, keep your back, just dip down and push out of that. So dip down, push up, good. Now the, harder, the further your feet are away, the harder that becomes. If it feels too difficult, walk them in. That takes a bit of the resistance away. 15 seconds again, so slow move, slowly bend down and straighten up. Come on, back of the arms, triceps now. Last few seconds, five on the clock. Come on, you're doing really well. And, and rest. Really good exercise, that one, for the back of the arms. That, that along with press ups is really what you need to get these strong, build some lean muscle here. Right, so number 17. What we're gonna do, is I call this a truffle shuffle. We shuffle along, touch the ground. So shuffle along, touch the ground. Shuffle as fast or as slow as you want. Just move your body to the left. And obviously bend the knees slightly. Fingertips hit the ground. And just lateral movement, let's go. Touch the floor. Good, come on, it's you against the clock. You're not racing me, you're just trying to do as many reps of each move as you can in 30 seconds. Brilliant, come on, 15 to go. You're doing real, can you pick it up a little bit? Can you go a bit quicker? 10 seconds on the clock. Come on, it's a great start today. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Brilliant, right, we've only got three more moves. So next I'm gonna do another kind of variation on the plank. It's called an up-down plank. So from, the, from your hands like this, Engage your core in that sort of position there, so you're sort of leaning forward slightly, keeping that back nice and straight. So engage that, and then we go down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. And doing that, you keep the abs tight the whole way through. Off we go. Up, up. Down, down, up, good. Down, down. <sighs> Squeeze those abs, engage that core. We've got two more moves after this. Come on, let's finish it. Last couple of seconds. Squeeze the abs, push. Up. Three, two, one. And rest. Well done. Really good. Right, two more moves. I told you it would go fast. And well done for choosing to train me today. It's sometimes the hardest thing is just pressing play, just getting up and like doing it. Once you start, you know you always feel better. So next I'm going to do... Ooh, Squat pulse. Squat pulse, rather than being static, we're gonna go down low and just pulse, sort of in that mid-range, so it's pulsing. Oh, really good for the legs, you ready? Let's go. So we're just pulsing. Arms out nice and straight in front of you. And just pulse. I so said, can we do this for 30 seconds? Can we stay down? Come on. A bit lower, 15 seconds, come on, stay down. Little pulses, little pulses. Ooh, 10 seconds, ah, it burns. Drive those knees out, weight in the heels, and pulse for four, three, two, one. Right. Ooh, all right, shake them off. Final move. This is called a slow motion burpee. Now, I wanna build you up one day to be able to do a burpee, like chest to floor, you know, like this. When you get right down. Come up, but this is a beginner one, so hands on the ground, step your feet back, step your feet forwards and up. So it's like a slow motion version, but it's really good. It's up, down, up, down, so your heart rate's gonna be raised now. Last 30 seconds and we have completed it. Let's go, hands on the ground, step back, step forwards, reach up and repeat. So step back, step forwards and reach. 
and reach. Good. Come on. Last 15 seconds. Let's go a little bit quicker to finish. And up. Down, down, up. All right, so last one, last rep together. Ready? Here we go, hands down. Step back, step up, and we did it. Fantastic workout, 20 moves, 20 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed that. And just take note now of how you feel after you exercise. It's always the hardest thing starting it, but your energy picks up, you feel better, you feel happier. It's really all about your mental health as well. It's about thinking, how am I gonna feel if I just come back to the Body Coach TV, pick a workout and press play? And here we are, we completed it, well done. And um, have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Keep coming back, keep training with me, and I'll see you very soon right here on the Body Coach TV. Good luck.